Here at Aero Showcase 2022, I've come over to a section of the show here that eh, just kind of attracts me as an old ultralight guy. These are the Aventura airplanes that you're seeing scattered around me here, uh, including uh, uh, that pretty blue one back here, but this one done right here looks very nicely done. Now these are mostly kit airplanes, and you know what, that's pretty cool. But I want to show you one that is another kit airplane, but one that you just don't see often enough, but that I'm interested to see right here today. Yes, what got me excited was the single place Aventura 1 that can make part 103. Of course, you have to build it carefully and can't have every option in the world, but this amphibious, comfortable, enclosed, and well-established single-seater is a legitimate Part 103 entry in the field, and I'm glad to see it here. So isn't this a little charmer here? Now look, I love the S17 over there. Big power, 130 horsepower, carries two people, comfortable, smooth, probably doesn't move around the air so much as this, but this comes back to what really interests me. Now, I said this was a legitimate part 103. I don't actually know that. I don't know what the weight specs on this particular airplane are, but it could be a part 103 airplane and may very well be because these airplanes can be built this way. Float equipped airplane like this can weigh more than a standard ultralight because it's got a boat hull on it. And those sponsons out there made by the Lotus folks that made the inflatable floats. And this one just has a, uh, smaller engine on it, a Rotax 582 it looks like to me, yes it is. And so that's gonna make this airplane not a part 103, just that engine alone. But man, this thing is gonna perform really well. Look at how bright and pretty this is. This looks like the one they've just maybe had into the shop here. It's all shiny up there on the wings and fun. I like this thing. I'm glad they brought this out here to this event. And I look forward to seeing this one fly. Well, I just got a chance to talk with Alex Rolinski, who is the main man behind Aero Aventura, which makes these airplanes, and he straightened me out a little bit. First of all, this one is, as I said, this is a Buccaneer from Couthin Aircraft. It says it right down there, you can see it. And indeed, that is a, uh, a vintage airplane, but this one looks, it's actually in pretty nice shape, all things considered. But I want to come back over here. I had waxed sort of eloquent about this single seater here. That's not a part 103, I mentioned that already, but what this is that I didn't know is this is actually an Arnett Ferreira that was uh, two producers ago who had this airplane and made it. And Alex Rolinski and his team here at Avo Aero Adventure at Deland Airport have taken this thing and restored it. So this is not in a single place Aero Aventura one. It, this is an original airplane, but the Aventura 1, the single seat ultralight type airplane is available from these fellows and the kit is only like $25,000. Now, you're gonna add an engine, but I asked him, I said, by the time you add an engine, get it in the air, minimal instrumentation, stuff like that, he said 32,000. So think about that. Seaplane, amphibious gear, not with that big engine on it, but with a uh, MZ202 engine on it, which is perfectly capable to do a nice job of flying in the water. And you got this nice little airplane here. I think that's pretty special. Powered by Aero Momentum, this is the S17 model of the Aero Adventure Aventura 2. Big two seater, comfortable, very nice airplane. Yes, there's a lot to see at Aero Adventure and the whole gang there at Aero Affinity with their whole line of aircraft. And you know what? You can see all of them at Sun and Fun 2023 if you'll just come to the LSA Mall where I think you'll find lots of things of interest, but these among them. Please come on down.